the priority Honda for allowing me to review the 2020 Honda Passport. Today we are viewing the 2020 Honda Passport. This particular model wrapped in a crystal black. For the length, 190 inches. Height, 72 inches. You have a wheelbase of 111 inches with a ground clearance of 8 inches. Right here we are looking at a 3.5 liter V6 engine with Earth Dream technology pushing out 280. For the torque, 262 at 4000 RPM. For the MPG Highway, 25, City, 20. Here's the sound of it. Right here we are looking at a 20 inch alloy wheel with a machine accent finish. This particular model have remote start. Now we are making our way inside of the vehicle. We are greeted with black leather seats. Right here we're looking at a digital analog gauge. On the left you have your engine temp, on the right you have your gas gauge. In the middle you have a full colorful digital display. Using the buttons on the left side of the steering wheel where you can control your phone, maintenance, settings, and all that other good stuff. Now we're bringing it back to your standard steering wheel control. You have your Bluetooth and volume button alongside your cruise control settings with your plus and minus paddle shifters. The buttons right here have your forward collision, lane departure alongside your traction control. The buttons in the door panel have your gas and trunk release. In the footwell you have your hood release. The buttons right here have your eco and mirror control. On the door panel you have your memory seat setting. Looking down on the door panel you have your standard unlock and lock with your one touch window control. You have your engine start stop button, aka your push button start. Right here is an 8 inch touchscreen display with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay running the latest Honda Link. You have your backup camera. You have your dual climate control. Alongside your heated seats. In the cubby area you have your USB with your 12 volt outlet. You have your electronic shifter. This particular model is a 9 speed automatic transmission. Behind the shifter, you have snow with your auto start stop button. You have your cup holder area. We done made our way back to your center console. This is pretty roomy with another USB alongside your 12 volt outlet. We done made our way up to your interior lighting with your moonroof control. Now we are making our way to the back of the vehicle. We are also greeted with black leather seats. You have your air vent. You have two more USBs in the back of the vehicle. On the door panel you have your one touch window control alongside your cup holder area. A little fun fact, there are 8 cup holders throughout the whole car. Now we are making our way to the cargo area. Imagine that 50.5 cubic feet. We'll see area. Imagine that 100.7 cubic feet. Wow, this is pretty spacious. Another little fun fact, the Passport had more cargo space than most two-row crossovers. 
with an additional 2.5 cubic feet under the floor space. Once again, huge shout out to Priority Honda for allowing me to review the 2020 Honda Passport. If you need any information about Priority Honda, I'll leave the link in the description below. Like always, good people, browse the channel, like, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.